Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is going to be a real quick one. This is a viewer request, but I'm also going to do a little bonus tutorial as well. So first up, we're going to be installing new intro videos, be it your own intro video that you've made, somebody else's, you know, whatever video that you want to use. We're going to install that to use in a track mode for, you know, our startup. So that's first part. Second part is we're going to install the Retrorama version 1.2 emulation station theme. So that's a little bonus. Just going to show you how to do that. That way, hey, if you find some cool little themes out there that are not downloadable through emulation station, you know how to install those. So let's go ahead and get this party started. So first off, you're going to make sure your Raspberry Pi is connected to the internet, either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And then go ahead and make sure you have Win SCP. Go ahead and open her up. Type in your host name is going to be RetroPi. Username is Pi, P-I. Password is going to be Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Hit enter. Let her log in. Now we've got one step to do within Win SCP to ensure that we're able to do what we want to do. So as you see, we just have these folders here. None of this is giving us access to where we need to go. So when you first install WinSCP, or if you've just used it and never had to dive into this, you might not have ever noticed this, but our hidden files and hidden folders are not showing up. So to fix that, you're gonna to wanna to go to Options, go down to Preferences, and then click on Panels. Right here, Show Hidden Files. Make sure you check mark that little fella click OK. Now you see all these light gray folders and directories. Those were originally hidden and now we have them shown. So to install our intro video, we're going to go to the attract directory. Now dependent upon what version of attract mode you're using, also dependent upon what image you're using, if you're using the HyperPy or Motion Blue Pace, that's going to be, you know, with all the scripts and everything new. If you're using an older version of attract mode, typically your intro video would just be sitting in here. It would just be named intro. So if you have an older version, you would just simply swap out your video and name it intro. But most images out there nowadays have updated attract mode. You know, it's a little different. You're going to have options now. So we have an intro folder on all newer images. You're going to go ahead and open that up. As you see here, I have all the motion blue intros, the little options. This is where we will want to put our intro video. So look for where you have that file. So I just clicked my, you know, our default, our directory is C users and then my name. So I just clicked my name, clicking on desktop, and that's where I have what I'm looking for. So I have it in a folder named Pi. Open that up and I'm going to be putting the comic book splash intro. So I have two versions, the 720 and the 1080. I'm just going to transfer over the 720. Just simple drag it over and it'll transfer. Depending upon your speeds, shouldn't take very long. So now we're good on that part and I will show you how to set that in a moment if you're using a newer version of a track mode such as Motion Blue Base or HyperPy. So now, to install an emulation station theme, we're gonna wanna go back to home slash Pi. So from here, we're also gonna look for our emulation station directory, which was also a hidden folder. Open that bad boy up, and then now we have several folders. We're looking for the one named Themes. Easy peasy. So I have the Motion Blue Emulation Station theme added on here, but I want to add the new version of Retrorama. So as you see, all these files are the systems that this, this theme supports. We don't want to drag those over individually. We want to make sure that those are all in their own folder. So we have this folder, Retrorama version 1.2. 
drag that little fella over and just let her transfer. Boom. Now that that's said and done, let's go ahead and dive into our pie and show you how to utilize what we have just done. One other thing, if you do want to use, for example, the new comic book splash screen, if you want to use that in your emulation station build instead of using it in a track mode, go ahead and take that file, go to network on your PC, open up RetroPie, and you'll have these four folders. You're going to want to put it in your splash screens folder. Boom, I've already added it. So we're going to go ahead, take a look, and get that set up. Okay, so now that we are in our attract mode, what you're going to want to do to set up your new intro video that you have installed is you're, want to, you're going to want to go to the uh, track mode wheel. You'll have that on Motion Blue, HyperPy, most more recent attract mode builds. So we're going to go ahead and go in there. And then you should have a wheel that says change intro video. Go ahead and open that up. Now, once you're in there, it's going to say just like right here, please type the number of the intro you would like to use. So we're going to want to go ahead and set our default to comic book splash. So I'm going to type in number one and hit enter. Upon next reboot, that's what our intro video is going to be. Sweet. So let's go ahead and reboot and check her out and then go in the emulation station and do the rest of the job. Okay guys, now that we are back in Emulation Station, let's go ahead and set our new comic book intro video as our splash screen for when we boot up Emulation Station, and then let's go ahead and set our theme to the new Retrorama version 1.2 theme. So to do the video, let's go ahead and scroll over until we get the RetroPie configuration. Hit A. Make sure we scroll down the splash screens. Hit A. And then now, we're going to go ahead and select option one, choose splash screen. Hit A or enter. And then we're going to go to number two, our own or extra splash screens that are in that splash screen folder that we put the intro video in. Hit A. Now all we need to do is simply select whichever one we got in there. You could have multiple ones and just choose. We're going to set it to the comic book splash. Hit A. Now we're good to go. Go ahead and back out. Now we're back in emulation station. Now let's go ahead and set our theme to Retrorama. So go to U press, press start, go to UI settings, go down to theme set, scroll over left or right, find whichever theme you wanna use. We're using the Retrorama version 1.2 theme. So make sure that is set there. And then just simply go back and it should load up. Boom, there we go. We have our new theme set. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope this has helped those of you out who are interested in figuring out how to do this. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and I will catch you guys next time. Boom.